guys, welcome back to World of Tanks with Dennis Bacon. Subscriber replay time, at last, I would say. Um, yeah. <laughs> I actually had two subscriber replays I would have uh, shown you, but... Unfortunately, I received those two replays 30 minutes after I updated my World of Tanks clients to 9.12 instead of 9.10. There's fresh trimmed grass on the field, dude. Do you play ball? So I actually need to... I was waiting for some another subscriber replay and TV Creeper sent this one in, in the T-57 on the Overlord map. And you can pretty much play the Overlord map any way you want. You can go wherever you want, except Beach, because Beach is pretty much useless. Oh, is Beach useless? Because <laughs> you don't want to put yourself into a position where the enemy has a high ground. Let me put it that way. So he's going over here where the medium is going, apparently. Let's see what he finds. Now the T-57, of course, where has the counterpart that is the AMX-50B, where the AMX-50B is the better part, I would say. Uh, it's more mobile. Um, doesn't fire the shells out of the gun as fast as the 57 does. Actually, the 50B is a half a second slower. But half a second, is that? Oh, hello, 5100. That's one. That's two. That's three. And good night. So backing off and reloading. And looking at my counter, his reload is on 21.98. That's pretty much the fastest you can get the 57's reload speed down to with, yeah, vents, brothers in arms, premium consumables. As you can see, he's running. He's running with Coca-Cola. Instead of a fire extinguisher, which is dangerous. So yeah, there was a waffle and a... Oh, there's a Leo. Oh, that's one. The Leo is tracked. Two shots into him. And uh, the issue 122.54 fires at him and... Bounces. Now oh, if... It, oh. And now the Batyard Outload is shooting at him. So that's one. No, no, only one. Then TV Creeper is actually doing the smart thing here. He's forcing a reload. Because you don't want to get caught by another tank and only have two shots in your clip. If, it, if you can, you should always, <laughs> always have a full clip. Because 21, 22 seconds isn't that bad. So... So yeah, there's no point of going down that road because he'll get outspotted by that Leo and he'll just get nuked by pretty much Ardy and tank destroyers that's hiding in the background. So he's going into the middle. Oh, a T-10. Or the IS-8. A one-shot missed. Two. And the T-10 is gone. So above, so he just uh, done just above 3k damage already. Yeah, that's some serious armor that's coming down there. E-100 on a mouse with the company of a 57. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? The issue 101 down there. Oh, 1390. Take out the eyes. That's one. Good night. Two. Now the waffle is unloading on that eye seven. 
creeper there. Oh, oh. Yep, that's the turret. That's the turret. That's one. Uh, that's two. So, 4.5k damage already. If you ever see autoloaders on the, on the enemy team, you should always focus them out. That's the priority. That's the tanks that needs to die first. Oh, too bad. Because autoloaders is so dangerous when it comes to burst. That's pretty much the most dangerous tank you can ever meet. That burst damage can really mess you up. As you can see, nobody has been shooting a cr TV creeper, so that's pretty lucky. So he's already on 5,000 damage. And that's a 57 heavy, that's... And he's just reloaded. And that's one. That's two. And that's three. And you died a virgin. That's a tough break. 6,000 damage. And four kills. Oh! Back up, back up, back. Ow. Now we got a T10 on the IS-7 out there on the flank. So the U-100 just fired and... Kriber just reloaded. And track him. Track him again. Put one into his right wheel. Now what? TV should probably have used his momentum and just kept going. See if he could get out... F get flanked that E100. Because E100's turret doesn't turn that fast, but... That might have saved him from a shot against the E100, but E100 is dead and Kreeb is not. And hit... Oh, hello. And goodbye. Six kills. Seven thousand nine hundred damage and six kills or top gun. Uh, you need to be careful because that Arty is still alive, <laughs> so he sits right there. Bingo. So he's above eight thousand damage now. And seven kills. And he spotted. That's the Leo. Special way out of here. And well, yeah, there he was. But this win, yeah, this win should be should be certain. Otherwise, eight thousand damage game and seven kills and a loss. Ow, that would suck. And that's the leopard. The T10 missed. The E4 goes full YOLO. The Leopard sits there and T10 finish him off. And hello, that's the bat chat already. And good night. <laughs> so that's GG. He did over 8,000 damage. A win rate of 9,116. From what my calculator can see, but that's that win rate is higher because that blind shot on the issue 12254 raised it even further. But <laughs> anyway, let's take a closer look at the post game stats. So here we are. Ace tank and badge, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, of course, uh, okay, bruiser, duelist, and fire for effect, the high caliber award, the tank sniper award, and a top gun. 
94,546 credits and 3,720 XP on a double. <sighs> wow. That's actually a, that's a good double. Jesus. He did 8,172 damage. A base experience of 1,240. <laughs> With the closest one doing, yeah, that's the pattern, doing 2,689 damage, and yeah, of course, as we all know, Adi is balanced, that's why the enemy Adi did the most, yeah, that's why the enemy Adi did the most damage on that team, with 3,392, the 100 with 3,382, that's 3,392, sorry. Uh, pretty much Creeper did more damage than the Patton, the what the fuck, and the E4 did all combined. <laughs> he did more damage than three other tanks, and one of them is actually a pretty a high auto loader. Uh, he did more damage than the 100 and the Batjet did combined. <laughs> yeah, talk about a carry. <laughs> wow. Uh, detail report. Even though that he fired heat at the end of the game, he actually still walked away with a profit. Uh, wow, okay, yeah, 10,504, but sure. Profit is profit. 29 shots fired, 27 of them hit, 24 of them penetrated. With a total amount of damage of, of course, 8,172. 3,697 of them f were from over 300 meters away. He took seven hits, three of them bounced, and four of them penetrated. Yeah, the 57 is doesn't have the greatest armor. To be fair, he damaged nine tanks and well, yeah, destroyed seven, of course, and only 826 assistance damage because pretty much what <laughs> Creeper was shooting at died. So yeah, this is pretty much why you should focus on autoloaders, otherwise Creeper and players better than him and maybe even worse than him can pretty much just s stack the damage. Autoloaders is so high a priority, you wouldn't believe. So yeah. If you see autoloaders, focus them out. I don't care if you're brawling against an E100. If a 57 or a 50B comes around the corner, you turn your gun and you shoot at him. Because you don't want that guy to unload that clip more than necessary. But anyway, man, thanks for this replay. Oh, shit. Nice damage. Uh, anyway... As always guys, thanks for watching, take care and happy hunting.